Welcome back. I'm dancing with a legend. <laughs> uh, Joan Rivers. Oh, I'm so, so glad you're still here. Now, uh, I have to say to the, to the people at home, thank you. I know my dog is back. My little Sony dog is back. Can we see its trick? Oh, let's see its trick. This is very cute. Here we go. Put him down. Put him down. Like that. Here we go. I love it when he does this. <laughs> <laughs> Up boy, up boy, up, 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 up. Look at this, look at this. Oh, very good. Easy himself. Very good. And watch the little fellow walk forward now, not knowing there's a big step. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, people at home, because they've been sending us uh, lovely calendars, right? You know, there are these charity calendars that uh, organisations put out for no good reason, of themselves naked. Oh. Right. And it was the Women's Institute started it. Right. And now, we've got, you've sent us some more. Some of them are kind of obvious. Uh, there's a firefighter's one. And you think, oh, that's quite sexy, naked firefighters. And in fairness, a lot of them are very cute. Uh, where it goes slightly wrong is, oh, well, actually, where it goes slightly wrong is that one. Just me. <laughs> how, did, how did her fire start? <laughs> it wasn't the chip pan, was it? <laughs> uh, where, oh, here we go. It's when firemen try to inject humor into their calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a hose that looks like a big cock. <laughs> They're laughing about it still down the station. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's going. Ah, no, no. Back dog. Back, 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 back. Oh, dog. Bad dog. Yes, bad dog. Very bad dog. No, you were very bad. Mm. Bad dog. Oh, talking back, cheeky pup. <laughs> No, you're swimming. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gay. <laughs> no, no, I'll, try, I'll, try, I'll let it walk that way and see what happens. All right, there you go. Uh, now, Joan, let me ask you a question. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? You see, you see, you see. <laughs> well, you can't, because I'm so happy to introduce my second guest, ladies and gentlemen, Boy George is here! <laughs> But here we are, poor George Joan Rivers. It's not a very camp show, is it? Um, <laughs> together at last. <laughs> we actually met um, at the beginning of my career. I actually was interviewed by Joan on the Johnny Carson show. It was one of my first ever interviews in America. Well, do you know, and we've got uh, a lovely picture of, of the meeting. There are, there's the two of you. Oh, my. At Claridge's, do you remember that? Yes. Having your tea. <laughs> <laughs> It's so unlikely. And <laughs> we've always had great hair, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> she did great jokes about me in the 80s. I was there. Can you remember any of the Boy George jokes? Yes, Boy George, just what England needs, another queen who can't dress. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, one of the things, re reading your book, and, and also kind of doing research for you coming on today, I didn't really understand just how major you were in the States. I don't think any of us really understood over here. Mm. So you, there you are, you're on the cover of all these magazines. You're on the, on the cover of People magazine. I like this. It's a guy, it's a girl, it's Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there you are on Newsweek. I mean, that's proper serious stuff. Danny, yes. Yes. But meanwhile in Britain, it's a different take as you appear on the cover of Woman's Own. <laughs> but in the 80s, that was a bit of a triumph. Actually, I suppose it was. Yeah, I think I was one of the first... Drag queens, anyway, to be on the cover of Woman's Own. Should we just say the last as well? <laughs> <laughs> because I do love your looks, and happily, happily, I've been able to find out a rare copy. And uh, it's now of, of a book, which is now my, it's my Bible. It's the Boy George Fashion and Makeup book. <laughs> I still have a copy of that, actually. The great thing is, now, thanks to this book, um, I, I, can, I can make my own Desert Prince outfit. <laughs> um, that's actually taken in Blackheath Station outside the men's toilets. <laughs> George in Sibby Street. <laughs> but we were talking today now. This look, you've had for quite a long time now. Is it, are you thinking of moving on now? Or? Uh, I like hats. 
We'd guessed as much. <laughs> I mean, they hide a multitude of sins. <laughs> but do you, do you ever go down the shop to get a pint of milk without the hat? And oh, I don't, don't wear the hat when I'm shopping for milk. I mean, I, I look very scruffy when I'm not sort of on TV. I mean, I'm not paranoid about that. You know, I just want to do my shopping. Fair yeah. enough. Get or. me tofu and <laughs> brown rice and get on with it. Yeah. But no, you... <laughs> It's amazing who you bump into in Sainsbury's, though. Really? Yeah. Are you going to tell us who? I saw Banana Rama in there once. <laughs> God! Yeah. The American producer was there. No, I'll do the reunion tour. <laughs> <laughs> Follow this trolley. Uh, <laughs> Dal Winton. Well, he was born to shop. Wasn't he? <laughs> it's, a, no, it's a man and he pushes a trolley for a living. Um, <laughs> well, he has. Uh, but no, the thing about changing the looks, change the... No, I mean, I lo uh, Dale's lovely. It's your competition. Is he? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a gay man on the telly. <laughs> He's not gay, I think you'll find, George. Oh, really? No. Oh, you saw This Is Your Life as well? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> so, some of Michael Aspel's pages got stuck together. I think... <laughs> oh, Chuck's missing. Um, <laughs> But no, the thing is about you changing looks, you're changing yeah. the looks. Would you ever, would you ever consider, um, like, plastic surgery? Would you do the Joan route? Um, I guess at a certain point I may consider it. I'm a bit of a coward, though. The idea of having something broken, you know, voluntarily is a bit so scary what are you to wincing me. for, Joan? You have <laughs> done. They don't break anything. They just pull and snip and then take it and make another little person, and it walks with you. <laughs> So you get someone to carry your luggage? Yes! That's a practical reason you for doing it. You have a little mini-me, that's all. That's what I was I don't know, I think I'm too much of a coward, you know. Really? Yeah, the idea of being cut and snipped, it's not for me. But then I may, you know, I may change my mind. I mean, I, you know, I, I, don't, I never say never. There may be a time when I decide to, you know, you know, lift the old eyebrows up a bit more, you know? <laughs> yes, closer to the brim of the hat. I, mean, I like that kind of, I, like, I, I do like that kind of arch look, so I, I may. Does it hurt, Joan? Oh, please, give me a hypo and take out that lipo. Are you <laughs> It doesn't hurt. You call me, you'll come to America, you'll stay at my house. God. I'm well, and during you. the night, you'll wake up. You'll <laughs> 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 be like the, the Stepford Wives. <laughs> You're taken away in the middle of the night. <laughs> Returned. I met a boy at a dinner party a couple of weeks ago, an American boy, who had um, botulism in his forehead and he'd had his lips done. He was a very beautiful boy. And he'd had this sort of injection in his forehead, which made him kind of look a bit like the tea fowl man. <laughs> I kept, you know, you're sitting talking to someone at dinner, I kept thinking, there's something really odd about you, and I can't think what it's... <laughs> and then I realised that there were no sort of lines of expression of any kind on his forehead. And he had this injection, and he told me all about it, and it was quite scary. Come on, have you heard that done? What done? <laughs> 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 I'm crying. Just <laughs> 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 You just said. Um, that is nearly it. But, oh, now, now I'm being told that it's all true. Joan, much excitement. Your escorts have arrived. Paula was true to her word. So let's meet the escorts. Here they come. <laughs> I feel dirty. <laughs> which escort is which? So, Joan and George, let's find out now as we play Guess the Escort. Oh. Come with me. Over here. <laughs> now, we have our three escorts here. Paul has done us proud, if a little cheap. Um, <laughs> right, now, Neil, Neil up there, the very, very poor sheep person. Uh, he stands to win a sizable prize if he correctly puts the descriptions that Paul has sent us, the way they're described on the site, right? If you match them correctly with the, with the escorts. But everyone will help you. The audience will help you. Won't you, audience? Yes! I have to say, it's like a festival of cologne over here. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> are they going to get paid tonight, I hope, for showing up here? Yeah, yeah I'm sure they will. Of course, BBC is notoriously... Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> but we're Channel 4, and sky's the <laughs> limit here.
<laughs> right, right. Neil, Neil. All right, here's the first one. So, A, B, or C. First one we're looking for is James, right? James is 25. <laughs> and we're told here, has Hugh Grant good looks, uh, is well educated and clean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, but uh, now, so audience, uh, you got good looks, 25, James, well educated and clean. Who do you think it is, A, B, or C? B. In, in the middle, of course. Oh. He's got that kind of college boy sort of look, isn't he? Yeah. It's a stretch of the imagination that any of them could be described as having you <laughs> grant good looks. Oh. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, uh, so who do you think it is? B. B. They say B. Neil? B, definitely. B. B. Okay, B. Are you James? B. He's James! Well <laughs> okay, next up, next up, we have Pete. Pete has a swimmer's body. Well, now we know that <laughs> could be anything. Rugged good looks and interests include fast bikes and fine dining. Hey. Where's the swimmer's body? No, you fool. We discussed the fallacy of swimmer's body earlier. God, take lumps of wood float. <laughs> and, and all I'm saying to you is I think there's a clue in fine dining. Oh. <laughs> No, no, the clue's in fine dining. Fine dining. Eating, eating. <laughs> Who eats most? C. It's C. C? Well, it's only two The choices. experts have said C. What do you C. think? It's A or C? A. C. You're saying yeah, C? Yeah, Oh, let's just see if you're right. <laughs> uh, C, are you Pete? A. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, oh, now. Right now, right now, you see. Neil is thinking, this game is a piece of piss. <laughs> but there's only A left. It's bound to be. But no, what we've done here is we've got two descriptions and you've got to say which one is A, OK? So is A Gary, toned Latino lovely, <laughs> nine and a half inches on cut, <laughs> good conversationalist. <laughs> Mind you, you'd have to talk a lot because you wouldn't be, would you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 is he Marco, Marco, well-endowed Spanish heartthrob? <laughs> Interests include boxing and travel. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm neither seem that likely to me, but there you go, he is one of them. He looks who, more like a who, Gary. Who do you think it is? Do you think it looks more like a Gary? There's a lot riding on this now. You might be riding on it later, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> uh, Neil, is it... Gary <laughs> or Marco? <laughs> Gary. Do you think it's Gary? I think it is. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Are you Gary or Marco? He's Gary! Yeah. a pile of shitty old clothes, <laughs> but much excitement because you've now got a thousand pounds to spend on clothes with our friends at DressSmart.com. Well done, Neil. Congratulations. All right. Bye-bye. Look, -bye. Neil. Very good. That's it. My thanks to my guest, John Jones and Boy George. <laughs> but as always, there's so much we haven't had time to talk about. No time to talk about Sophie Wessex who can't understand why animal lovers are making such a fuss about her owning a fox fur. After all, she's had an elephant's arse for years and no one said a word. <laughs> <laughs>